Floss Tube. This is Karen with KB Studio Creations. And this is Jason with Karen. <laughs> so welcome back um, to our Floss Tube. Um, thanks for watching us. Thanks for those who are new and those who have, who are joining us for another time. We appreciate your support. So I'm actually going to start with my start, finish, and FFO all in one. So you can talk and I'll hold. So this is a free pattern by Diana. It is Kismet and uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, and it's, <laughs> it's a free. Try to see if there's a good way to like present it to where my hand isn't covering it. You just do your thing. Okay. You do your thing, and I'm just gonna mess with it. Okay, okay. that's that's my job. So it's a free pattern, um, and their thought is is to um, make it and give it as gift to people, or just I'm keeping this one for myself. Um, just as a reminder to myself to like myself. What? It's a good thing. <laughs> um, it's a phrase from Mr. Rogers, and um, I stitched it using some floss I hand dyed, and I also um, dyed the fabric. It's my blue sky fabric. So, so it's blue sky fabric, and count. then lavender, 14 count Ada fabric, mm -hmm. hand dyed, called blue sky, and the thread is White linen that's been dyed with purple and lavender hues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sound like I know what I'm saying when in reality everybody knows I don't. But, hey! So that's the first one. I plan to stitch it more times to give us gifts, but that one's the one for me. Just a small bookmark. So, whips. You going to put it up? I'm yeah. waiting for you to introduce it. Okay, so this is the Russian Doll Bobble Kit um, from Cross Stitch Crazy. Um, it's by Cheryl McKinnon. And it's on the 14 count Ada that it was, came in it. So I got pretty far. Um, I just have her face to do and some white decoration. And then the back stitching, right? And then the back stitching on all of it. So, yay. I like that piece. It's fun. The next one is The Three Wise Men by Marie Dris Driscoll, um, Blackberry Lane Design. Um, and I'm using this for Magical Stitches and Literature Extra Credit. And um, it's on 28 count ivory jilblin. So I got some more done, and it's a lot. It's going a lot faster now that I um, am used to one over one on this tight eight o'clock. That and because it's not as much confetti, I, I'm just sticking with the color for a long period of time. Oh, that's right, because you're in the, uh, the brown sand. sands, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's going a lot faster, which is nice. And also fits in with the Christmas in July sal that Diana it is Christmas doing. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I will put it across the top. But anyway, one last view. So, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So, I'm making progress on that. I don't think it'll be finished by this Christmas, but progress is progress. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because I have Christmas presents to do as well, so. Yeah. Um, the next is the 2018 Mystery Sampler by Linen and Threads. Um, and this is a free pattern that was released um, one part a month. Oh, you finished the third dragon. Not quite. Oh, you've almost finished <laughs> the third dragon. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. And once again, I'm using this for extra credit and um, for homework for Magical Stitches Literature. So I'm having fun picking colors, deciding where to put them, and stitching it. And it's going to be big when it's all said and done, because it's on 14 count. Um, so the next is my Snow Alphabet. It's a design. Did you want it? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, it's something I designed. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to release it, so I'm just going to show ah. it to you now. Um, we had to work on something that we hadn't worked on in... Um, a few months. Yeah. Maybe Are you three? Not? In well, five I showed months. it, but... Uh, oh, sweetheart, it's an alphabet with snowflakes. I mean, yes. Hence why I'm not even going to release it, because no one cares. That's not what I was... <laughs> we'll be right back after some technical... <laughs> We're back after that little hiccup. So anyways, I've done... It was supposed to be part of a five series of different alphabets. Um, I have released four of those, um, but no one's bought any, so I don't know that I'll have to get this one done. This one took longer because I was working on finding the right fabric. Um, I bought this fabric from Game Crafts on Etsy, and it's ocean blue hand dyed fabric, 18 count. Um, so that's currently in my UFO file, pile. 
Um, I don't know if I will ever finish it. I might. We'll see. That's but cool. yeah, so I worked on that. I'll yes. show you another little one that she did. Yeah, I, I was try I pr I was trying out different um, combinations combinations of the colors. Um, so I had did that, and then yeah, I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it's it's there. If I there's what a to. Christmas tree, a candy cane, holly. Yeah, it's, a wreath. it's it's um, I think holly. Yeah. Holly. What's the fourth? Is this the fourth? Um, no, the fourth one is the Christmas star. Oh, right. And then the snow. Yeah. So they're all available on my Etsy if you want to go see what they look like. But, yeah. Um, this next piece is my Black Cat Sitting on Jack-O-Lanterns combo. So I have these released as bookmarks. And you can also get a combo pack to get... There's five of them. Um, and I saw this fabric. It is... What is it? Spiderwebs. Yeah. And it's from Stitch Modern. Um, just 14 count cobweb ada um, and so I wanted to stitch them all together so that's what I'm doing there yep. and that is also part of my black cat x stitch x stitch style which is any pattern that has a black cat on it so if you want to join in with this one has five uh, that one does have five if you want to join in with any um, pattern you might have that has a black cat on it feel free um, I also pulled out Millie's ear by Maria Diaz oh wait you want to show this first yeah um, so this is from Cross Stitcher Magazine, January 2019. It was an insert, and um, it's got one for each month, and our plan was to stitch one, one each month. I'm still working on the January block. I still need to unstitch the April block. Which is where I mistakenly stitched the January block. Um, and that's, that's on my um, 14 count blue sky fabric that I hand dyed. So I made just a little bit more progress on that. Um, and I am changing um, up the skin tone and hair colors for a lot of them. Um, I don't want the same one for same for every single person. Like it's supposed to be the one person throughout the year. I wanted to be a bunch of different people. So, right. Um, yeah, that's that. Okay, so Jason's decided he's gonna unpick uh, that mistake in Millie's year while I do. Some I didn't do any cross stitching like I told you I would. I'm sorry. Hopefully that's her audible. I just realized that's probably gonna sound really creepy. So let me say it out <laughs> loud so that it doesn't sound as creepy. Um, yeah, I didn't stitch any this year, this week, this year. <laughs> I've stitched this year. I have stitched this year. I didn't stitch any in the past two weeks because I'm just like life's being weird right now, and I'm being weird with it. And there's a lot of stuff going on, and I could take time to cross stitch. It's not that I don't have time. I'm just not taking the time to cross stitch because I feel like I'm taking a break from normality right now. Because it's summer? Because it's summer, and there's other things to do. And, like, I enjoy cross stitching, but it's more of a I don't have anything else to do sort of thing, you know? Okay. For me. But anyway, so I haven't cross stitched and I'm sorry. So I'm going to un unstitch what I should have unstitched and that's what I'm going to say is my cross stitch for the week. Works for me. Um, so haul, I got some scissors. Cross Stitch Crazy Magazine. Um, what, what is this? September, September yeah. 2019. So it's got some cute patterns in it and it came up with this um, luggage tag kit. Um, I'm not really into the oranges but I might still stitch it just using different colors. Because I do like the idea of the luggage tag. But we'll see. And then um, I'm going to do a little shop news. Um, so I'm going to have my Christmas in July sale, July 20th through 27th. So that starts next Saturday. Um, and I'm also going to record a floss tube next Saturday, partially because I'm going to be out of town on the 27th. Um, mm. And also just to... Um, show um, my new pattern, my Plaid Winter, which I will be releasing next Saturday as well, um, and any other news I want to say about my sale. So it will be July 20th, 20th to 27th. It'll be 15% off anything and everything. Um, and my next plus tube is also my giveaway. I have one every four issues. So um, be sure to watch it. Um, I haven't decided what I'm giving away yet. If you have any suggestions on what you think I should give away, Feel free to leave a comment. Um, so yeah. Also, Etsy news. Um, I've seen other people posting about it, but so Etsy is doing this thing where they're prioritizing people who sign up for this new program they have. Um, as far as where you fall in the listings, if you offer sh free shipping and orders over thirty-five dollars in the continent of the U.S., 
So I decided to do it. Um, I don't have a ton of physical items um, in my shop, but if you spend $35, I'm willing to ship your stuff for free. Um, so with that, um, I decided to put my hand dyed Ada in my shop. Um, I'm only going to do it for one round filling cycle, so it'll be up there for four months. Um, so if you want it, buy it in the next four months. It is up there now. So is it all done at once, or is it all is it all one listing, or is it are there multiple listings? There multiple listings. Okay. So this one, and this is my sunset on water, and. This one is purple hydrangea. This one is spring green. Most of these are 14 count, but this one is an 18 count. It's called Desert Sands. This one is Summer Sunset. And I love this one, it's so pretty. Um, these next two are both called Down to Earth, and these ones are listed as a single listing because there's just not enough variation um, for me to feel like they should be a separate listing. So Down to Earth, and Down to Earth. So they're the exact same size, just a little bit different modeling, um, and the colors are just slightly different in the browns. Um, this one is Summer Sunrise. This one is called Bruise. I have three called Bruise. This one is, I'm calling um, Blue, Black, and Purple Bruise. Then this one is just called Black and Blue Bruise. And then this one is black, blue, and purple bruise large. Because it is a big piece of fabric. Woo! But it's very pretty. So, those are my bruise ones. Um, this one is filled of lavender. Another one I really like. This one is rose garden. And this one is Blossoming Spring. So that is the hand dyed Ada I have. If you're interested, head over to my Etsy shop. If not, that's fine. Um, this is frustrating because I'm unpicking things that are underneath us. I don't understand it. <laughs> I sometimes go a little crazy with how I cross stitch and I will do a lot of crosses in a lot of different locations and then go back and do the other crosses and it doesn't make much sense. But it's just, so I'm picking it, it should be the one on top, but this one is the one on bottom, which doesn't know. make sense. I don't know. I, I don't have much help for you. Um, so I think that's everything. I don't think there's any new life updates. I started working out and I'm in tons of pain. <laughs> that is true. Like, I almost called into work yesterday and was like, oh, I can't come in because I'm hurting. It hurts to stand up and to sit down. Sitting down is fine. Standing up is fine. It's the in-between that hurts. And I'm just like, ugh, I can't move. It's what I get for having <laughs> sportsy friends. <laughs> but exercising is good. Something I can work on too. They say that, but I'm not convinced yet. <laughs> Maybe in time you can be convinced. What? Says the woman who doesn't want to do exercise. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so um yeah thank you for watching um and we'll see you next week next week happy stitching happy stitching or unstitching <laughs>